Well, hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a timeless tarot card reading for you, Aquarius. So I'm going to trust if this reading has made its way to you, you're meant to see it. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email. We can talk about that. Just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Aquarius anywhere in your chart or if you're just checking in on an Aquarius. Everyone is welcome here. It just might not resonate with all. But welcome. Welcome Aquarius. Let's get you a moon oracle card. Spirit, what's going on with Aquarius? Balance spirituality and practicality. The full moon in Pisces. Huh. Balance. Balance. Let's see what that's about. <laughs> bring love into the situation the new moon in aquarius look at this beautiful beautiful healing and bringing love infusing love into the situation aquarius that's beautiful all right what kind of animal spirit guide is walking in the ether with aquarius what kind of animal spirit guide is walking with aquarius <clears throat> animal spirit guide see the turtle slow moving energy but the lizard comes out look at this a beautiful shedding is happening a new belief system coming in here that's beautiful you're balancing it out balancing out this new belief system and you're bringing love in the situation you're not judging it there's that turtle look made his way to the bottom of the deck <laughs> very slow moving energy but yet jumped to the bottom here so yeah, maybe you've been waiting a long time for something and that hurry up and wait uh, kind of uh, mentality, only the opposite. Wait, wait, and then hurry up. <laughs> you've been in the waiting room and now someone's opened the door and said, Aquarius. And you're just like, what? <laughs> it's so quiet in there that it almost jolts you and jolts you into action of some kind okay let's see what that's all about i don't know what i'm even seeing there what kind of zen tarot card zen tarot card for up in the ether for the sign of aquarius what's going on there's that waiting room see it's like you're waiting waiting and then bam the light gets turned on or the uh the door just flies open it's like aquarius there's somebody needing your attention like right now after you've been dreaming about it or waiting for it it's like, oh my God, okay, I'm halfway. It's almost like you're monitoring yourself. You're uh, 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 rationing yourself because you've been waiting and then it comes way quicker than you had planned. Way quicker than you had planned. Going with the flow, that's how it comes in, Aquarius. Look at you going down the lazy river. Uh, then those white water rapids come in. It's just like, where did that come from? What, what the hell was that all about? <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. Usually we're uh, frantically searching for something or frantically uh, working at something. And then there's this plateau, this waiting period that you have to just kind of simmer it down. You put too much time and energy into this. This is the complete opposite. This is something you've been planning for for a really long time. Just slow is the goal here. Just the uh, the the slow the the turtle gets the uh, go the prize right. Let the rabbit go. Let that nervous energy run out. And uh, but this is just this this thing has come right into your path here. It's just like nope. It's right now. It's right now. What is this all about in the mind space for Aquarius? What is this all about for Aquarius? The hermit. Look at this. Right when you least expect it. Virgo energy coming into the mix. We are in Virgo season. We've got this uh, beautiful full moon coming in, a partial lunar eclipse. But something about you taking care of yourself, are you just saying uh, 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 the slow one gets the prize here? It's just slow it down, everyone. Everyone's in too big of a hurry. It's just this need to slow it down. And the, the answer, the, uh, the wait is over just like that. Just like that. It's like uh, Aquarius. It's just like next. <laughs> like you're waiting to audition and you're in the waiting room and they just won't call you and you're waiting and waiting and waiting. And then it's like, okay, I'm going to wait, you know, uh, 10 more minutes, but then I'm done. I'm done. I've waited. I've been patient. And then one minute later, bam, <laughs> there's that waiting room again, the four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So now you're like scurrying. Now you got to get like a hundred million of these on the shelf because you've gone viral after 10 years of marketing this. It's like, 
it, it's it's crazy it's like one phone call changes everything all right what else in the mind space my god and with the major arcana here this is really big aquarius the hierophant the hierophant steps in number five card we've got the number nine card and the number five card change change elevation up rising up seeing it differently here having that new perspective uh come in for you absolutely seeing it all differently now because it's a whole new ball game now it, it went from this mom and pop store to amazon now and now you got to run it you got to control it <laughs> it's like holy hell this got out of control this escalated quickly escalated very quickly what's the resistance in the mind space for aquarius what's the resistance the page of swords it, it, you feel like you're missing something you feel like you weren't ready you weren't prepared you were doing this slow it's like uh, uh, you were planning the uh, wedding uh, two years from now and then here comes the baby you can't do that you can't do that something comes in interrupts and changes everything and now you got two weeks to plan it's just something like this after a very long wait something you wanted this is really exciting this is not any kind of big tower moment where you've just lost everything this is the complete opposite this is you waiting for something working towards something not just waiting you have not just been waiting you have been preparing you've been planning for something and then uh, change of course change of course something gets thrown into the mix here and it's just like oh my god i got to do this now and i'm not ready i haven't even slept yet it's like now i got to get on the 24-hour flight across uh the world and i haven't even i don't have my presentation ready yet i'm not ready there's this fear <laughs> even after all this planning <laughs> look at this with justice oh yes you are oh yes you are ready spirit knows better Spirit knows better. You are ready for this, Aquarius. You are ready. Take the plunge. Take the plunge. This is huge with the major arcana. Justice, Libra energy comes in. Your fellow air sign comes in uh, to balance this out. This is about balance. This is about karmic law. This is the law. This is the law. <laughs> I'm laughing in my mind because my brother is Aquarius. And we've been just cracking up. I'm just teasing each other about Kamala Harris because of the comma law, comma law, right? There's just this thing going around with a comma and then law for Kamala. And so I've been telling my Aquarius brother, she is the law and just teasing. And we've just been cracking up about this, about her being the law. It's just uh, something stupid that's popping into my mind now. But this is the law. This is the law for you. <laughs> that's great that's great because it's just such a su surprise you're like what what oh my god the ten of swords the ten of swords this has been painful wait this has been very very uh, just almost brutal it, it had to have been with all this major arcana here it just with this kind of karmic law moving into action here aquarius it's just the only way it could have been you can't know what the light is without going into the dark look at this with the high priestess oh <coughs> my goodness the power in this reading is insane it's absolutely insane You've been studying, you've been preparing for this. You've been readying yourself for this change, for this big change in your life with the Hierophant. Big, big change. But um, it's just now that it's here, you just really got cold feet. You really think uh, it's just you're so, you're feeling so unprepared. It's almost like you've lived by this motto that... Um, uh, failure to prepare is preparing to fail here. So you just don't feel like you're ready for something. And Spirit is saying, Aquarius, you, you, whoever I am resonating with, whoever's re listening to this and you've come this far, you are absolutely 100% as ready as you're ever going to be. You're as ready as you're ever going to be. In fact, it's only going to get harder and harder if this doesn't happen for you right now. It's divine timing. It's that thunderous sound of divine timing coming in for you, Aquarius. And it's just right now is the right time. <laughs> There's never a better time than the right now. And this is a lesson you are learning. All right. What's in the heart space? What's in the heart space? 
six of wands you're being celebrated by this you're being honored it's almost like the uh uh, retirement party you've been planning for the retirement your entire life working for this working toward that retirement and now that it's here you're not feeling like you have enough to support you or sustain the lifestyle you've been living there's just this real sense of coming back into what you were doing before here the return the return to what you were doing here and spirit is saying you're ready you're ready you've never been uh, more prepared than you are right now. So just really, really keep moving into this. Don't let the fear of not being prepared or not being ready hold you back here. What else in the heart space for Aquarius? The Eight of Swords, you're all up in your head about this. You go back and forth about this. There's that, that balancing of spirituality and practicality, balancing the what ifs with the what is here. So just really, really trying to find that golden nugget of truth for you. <laughs> when is enough? When is enough? It's a very good question uh, to ask yourself here. When? When then? When? And really stick to that. All right, what? What's, what's the resistance? The Queen of Pentacles, because you are sitting pretty right now. You are stable. You are secure. You are making a very, very good living. Um, and you don't want to rock that boat because you've been preparing for this for a really, really long time. And then it's like you've worked at the same corporation for 40 years and you've been preparing for this retirement and it's coming in two years and you've had this deadline, you've had this uh, date in mind here. And then the corporation just decides to shut it down, shut it down early and there's this early closing date. And so now you've been preparing for 40 years, you're ready, you are ready. But you had that last two-year plan here, and that's being taken from you. That's being uh, reconfigured now. So you're having to readjust. You're having to realign uh, what that means, what that means, and uh, make a few adjustments here. But that's all it is, is a few adjustments here. What else in the heart space? What else in the heart space for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? judgment oh my god the major arcana again again this is just so big for you this is just a really big one of those moments one of those big life decisions here so uh yeah <laughs> it's not deciding what kind of pizza topping you want this is big big <laughs> big, big conversation here. But following your own intuition, following your own guide here. Look at this with the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Aquarius, Aquarius, the Wheel of Fortune has turned here. It's that that windfall coming early, even though you've planned for, you've had this five-year mission plan. Uh, it's coming early. Christmas has come early for you. And it's a big, big relief, a big relief because you've been planning for this for so long. It's like, I don't even know who I am without planning for this. So wow, wow, wow. Congratulations to you. The finale is here. The end game is here for you. And this is from your hard work. Look at this with the chariot. <laughs> <laughs> wow wow <laughs> very very uh very big energy here big big energy here this way or that way do i stay or do i go there is a decision here there is a decision that you're up in your head about you just uh you're just not sure you just have to meditate on this you have to really think about this write down the pros and cons like you do what else can help us in the heart space with this big decision for Aquarius? What else can help us in the heart space? Then we'll move on to the foundation and see what this is all about in your daily life. I'm so curious about this with all these big energies. Seven of Swords, you have all these trickery cards. You have all of these uh, feeling like you're getting away with something or maybe it's too good to be true. Maybe that this is the fear for you. Like you've been planning for this for a really long time and then here it is, but I don't want to get, I don't want to have that be the snake that got me. I don't want to have this be the trick, the trickery when I'm at the end game. I don't want to be tricked up now. I don't want to lose it at that last mile, right? That last mile is always the hardest. It's always the hardest to keep our focus in that last mile because uh, we're, maybe we're celebrating too early. I'm not sure what that is, but it's always where the most danger is, right? You're driving on this 24-hour road trip and you do impeccable. And then that last mile is when it all goes to shit there because you've been so focused. You've been so focused. You had your eye on the, the uh, road ahead of you. You have not deterred. You have not uh, varied from this path that you've been on. So you do not want to get tripped up in this last mile here. 
uh, because you uh, celebrated too soon. Mm, maybe. I guess that's what that is. But yeah, the last mile is always the hardest mile. For sure. For sure. And you are in the last mile here. We're absolutely in that last mile. So it's like you've built a, another thing I'm thinking of right now is the ring, the ring, the doorbell, the camera where you could see they, they took their idea to Shark Tank. They took their idea to Mr. Wonderful and Mark Cuban. It was already going by then. It had already picked up speed. It already kind of was going in its own direction. The ring was going to be this huge, magnificent product for the world. And they turned it down. They turned it down. And he went on on his own and he made it the huge, huge, huge company that it is. But he almost gave up in that last mile. He was looking for that last investment to really push himself out there. So that's why he needed those investors in the first place. When he was already in that last mile, he was already home. He had already done it. So that is exactly what I'm seeing in these cards for you right now. Don't give up in the last mile. Don't sell it out now. You haven't come this far just to get this far. So look at this. There you are in the foundation. You are all over this, Aquarius. You are so smart. You are so brilliant. There's no way you're going for that investment now, not when you put all this hard work into it. If you have to go another couple of years, that's exactly what you will do to end this on your terms, to walk out of this brilliantly, beautifully on your integrity and your character and on your terms. It's like, you can't fire me, I quit kind of terms. It's really a return of the power and the energy to you, Aquarius. My God, my God, you got this. You got this. You are good. You are golden here. You are the uh, uh, ringleader here. You are manifesting all of this beautiful energy and this beautiful outcome. You're manifesting this beautiful, beautiful outcome. I tell you what, it is the law. You are the law, Aquarius, and I'm loving this. Whew. All right, what else in the foundation? What else? The Five of Wands has been competitive. And the Knight of Cups, see, there's that kind of sweet devil offer, right? You're almost there. You've almost done it. You've almost baked that uh, perfect, perfect uh, bread. And then here come the leeches. Here come the people who have sensed it. They can smell it on you. They can smell that you're so close to success and they want a piece of it. They want a part of that. They want to get in now. They want to invest in you now. They want to uh, really spend time with you now. And it's like, you know what? <laughs> Where were you when I needed you? And uh, you're really, really smart about this. You are not going to be duped uh, by people that just want in on the success now, that have smelled this around you. You're like uh, blood in the water now. you got the chum out there with the abundance and the huge, huge windfall that's about to come to you because of the energy shift, because of the way, the power of the energy shift here. And you've worked way too hard, way too hard to give up now. So... You're going to be crawling over that finish line and you're going to be so glad you did this on your own that you didn't accept uh, these last minute investors, these last minute, these fair weathered fans of yours because your fan base is much, 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 much bigger than what was just kind of keeping you held back over here that was keeping you in the, uh, that place. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. What else in the foundation of this for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? Oh my God, the major arcana, the moon, the moon, Pisces energy. Again, we had the full moon in Pisces here with balancing spirituality and practicality. And then we've got the moon energy with Pisces here, balancing that spirituality with practicality. Don't let things get too big in your mind. Don't let uh, paranoia or uh, fear hold you back now. Again, you've come way too far. You didn't get, you did not get this far just to get this far, Aquarius. This was meant to be. This is all in divine timing. This is karmic law. This cannot be taken from you. Savor in the decision making itself because that is where all your power lies. Your power lies in the right now. It doesn't matter how much you have invested in this or how much you've worked for this. Your power lies in the right now. Right now is where you have the choice to Allow investors in, allow others in here, allow the, uh, the, comp the competitors to find out about this, or 
you keep pushing somehow, some way on your own here. You keep pushing forward here. Spirit will align the resources that you need to make this happen. They will literally make this happen for you if you trust, if you trust. Uh, but yeah, there's a big call here to walk this finish line. Walk tall, walk proud, uh, but walk alone here. You, you deserve this. You deserve the accolades here. Nobody deserves the credit you deserve here for accomplishing this. You don't need to pay anything back later if you just keep pushing it. You're so close to the finish line. You're so close to the water here. Just take that deep breath uh, and nourish from Mother Earth here. Just really, really know that you are on the right track, that this is the way to go, that this is right here. You don't need uh, false investors. You don't need um, uh, people just in it for the money here. They don't know. They're, they're, they want to judge. They want to judge your decisions here, Aquarius, but they don't know the choices that you had in front of you how you got here yeah it's time to just this is your baby this is yours this is yours just keep going just keep going you've planned for this you know what you're doing here my god Aquarius this is beautiful this is glorious congratulations to you the crowd is about to go wild I can't quite tell a timeline here but with these kind of major arcana this is huge this is huge but there's some kind of message here with patience, patience, Aquarius, you've gotten so far. Don't give up on that last mile. Do not give up. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever give up here uh, because you are so close, You're so close. Extend it out further in your mind so that you have that plan of going further than you think you need to go. And that's how it's going to come in sooner for you. So, so really, really push it out there. Push it out there. If you think you need to go uh, two more years, tell yourself, okay, five more years, five more years, and then I'm going to have this, have that five-year plan. And I promise you within months, within months, it's going to happen for you. All right. What else? What else in the foundation? Last words, last words for Aquarius in the foundation. The King of Pentacles, you got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Look at how this pays off. Just so beautiful with the, with the uh, divine masculine and feminine coming in to balance this out. This is all about balance. And the preparation, Three of Wands, is all about preparation. This is about your preparation paying off here. Yes. Yes. The slow one uh, wins here. Congratulations, Aquarius. While everyone else is freaking out, the sky is falling. You kept your head down. You did not fall for it. You just kept working hard towards your goal here. So now that everyone is coming back into their senses and they're sniffing you out and they're like, wow, what's Aquarius working forward uh, toward here? And I want in. Uh, you just keep your head down. You just keep moving forward in this because extend it out a little bit. Extend it out. Postpone it a little bit in your mind and in your plan here plan it out a little bit extend it out a little bit further than your original plan was it's going to feel uh self uh defeating but it's not because as soon as you allow yourself to go longer than you originally thought it comes in it comes in immediately so it's just a kind of a mind trick for you aquarius all right, my friends, I will leave it here. Look at this, the Three of Pentacles. Again, a card of planning. You've been planning for this. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and if this is not resonating with you, uh, leave it for someone else or share it with someone that you know has really, really been working hard towards something. Uh, and this is the way for them to get there. This is the way for you to get there. So I'm so happy to see this. All right, Aquarius, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Thank you, thank you. And I am sending you all my love and light, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.